Hey Ninja Warriors, welcome to Warrior Wednesday. I'm Zena Solomon and I'm actually recording this on my video on my phone because I attempted to record this live on Facebook 20 minutes, actually 40 minutes ago. Recorded it three times and audio was not working. I know audio works on my phone. I'm not really sure why audio is not working for Facebook. So uh, either way, I'm still going to send you this message because it is important for you to hear the message and I will be uploading this on Facebook shortly. So uh, you will be catching the replay. It's not live. So thanks for tuning in when you catch the replay. And when you do, comment with hashtag Encore and let me know that you tuned in and what your biggest takeaway was so that I can support you and see uh, where we can go from there. All right. So again, thanks so much for tuning in. And um, I want to say a couple of things, first of all. So today is 11-11, November 11th. We're still in Scorpio season. So a huge shout out to all my Scorpios. Welcome to my Scorpios. Happy birthday and happy belated to all my Scorpios. If you're a different sign than Scorpio, you can comment with hashtag what your sign is. (laughs) You know, whether you're Gemini, Pisces, uh, et cetera. It's all good. You're all awesome. So uh, we're we're also in fall season, uh, pumpkin spice uh, season, and we also passed our election. Election was last week, so if you voted, congratulations for voting. If you did not vote, uh, my invitation to you is that you vote the next round because your voice matters and everything matters, okay? So I'm going to jump right in, team, into what we're talking about, which is the topic of being stressed out. So are you stressed out? And are you looking to shift that energy from stress to success? Okay. Um, and you want, and yeah, but that's essentially what I want to say. Okay. So uh, what is stress? So let's, let's dig deep and, and identify what stress is. So stress is defined as a feeling of overwhelm uh, or a degree where you may be feeling overwhelmed. And it's also a space where you might feel that there's some sort of pressure or perceived pressure on you and that you're and it's unmanageable you can't manage it so that is uh you know what you're experiencing and we're all emotional beings even if you are an analyzer and you're very analytical you're still emotional and how do I know this Uh, because I'm going to ask you a very simple question the question is for all my analyzers and analytical people out there have you created all the results and the goals that you wanted to create for yourself for 2020 If the answer is no, first of all, I don't want you to beat yourself up just for you to be realistic uh, and also be uh, aware of what is going on. Uh, If the answer is you know that you haven't created the results, that means that chances are your emotions got in the way of you creating the results. Simple as that. Okay, Um, so that's, you know. That's just neither here nor there. It's an observation and it's an opportunity for you to shift your energy and also shift your emotion, okay? Uh, So if you're currently experiencing stress, raise your hand, say, I, we all do, just part of being human. And are you ready to ignite the best life that you want to create for yourself? If if that's you, say, I, say, yes, I'm excited, okay? Uh, So here's a quick quote I'm going to share with you and then we're going to jump right in. And I have uh, a few tips for you, uh, which are awesome. And I also have a very strong call to action, which I'm super excited to share with you, a special gift actually, okay? So the quote is from Fitch Not Han, and he says, feelings come and go like clouds in a windy sky. Conscious breathing is my anchor. And so I love this quote because, first of all, uh, our emotions are like the clouds. It just comes and goes. We're not stuck with one emotion, thank goodness, right? And uh, the average lifespan of any emotion, if you be with the emotion, is actually 90 seconds. I've I've shared this in previous videos. I'm going to remind you it's 90 seconds with any emotion you're experiencing. You just get to be with it for 90 seconds, and then it goes away, and you're moving on to another another feeling or sensation, okay? So... um, Uh, Here's how you can navigate your stress pandemic edition. Okay, so one way is you want to know what your triggers are. What what is stressing you out? What are your stressors? What are your triggers? Is it because you've lost your job? Is it because you are working from home and used to not work from home? Is it because your kids are now virtual learning? What is it for you? I want to hear from you. So comment below and let me know um, because I want to hear from you. Okay, and also you want to practice positive self-talk. So you want to notice all the negative conversations that are going on in your head and practice the positive self-talk so you're inspiring and empowering yourself, okay? You also want to move your body. So if you're a dancer uh, and you're used to moving your body, that's awesome because when, when we move our physiology, it shifts our emotion because motion shifts emotion. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Motion shifts emotion. So if you're, um, you know, feeling stressed out, 
go out for a walk. Shift your physiology. When you move your physiology, you will shift your, the emotion. Because again, it's like the clouds in the sky. It just moves on, okay? You also want to develop that muscle of resiliency. And here's what I mean by being resi- resilient. Is you want to bounce back from a setback. So... If you're stressed out, you might be experiencing some type of setback, whatever that is. And you want to be in the energy and also be in the practice of bouncing back from a setback. So you want to build that uh, resiliency muscle, okay? You also want to take time to unplug and refocus. In other words, what I'm saying is you want to reset. If you plug a phone for 24 hours straight or even for a week straight, what happens to your phone, to a device, any any electronic device? If you plug it in and you're not supposed to plug it in for an extended period of time, what happens? It burns out, right? It's the same thing with us as humans. We're not wired to be on the go, go, go. We get to unplug, reset, refocus, get grounded on what matters, get grounded on what is important. If you feel me, say I, say yes, I want to connect with you, okay? Um, You also want to practice mindfulness and heart breathing. So there are a lot of mindfulness teachers out there. You can look them up. Uh, You also want to practice heart breathing. And what you do is you put your hands on your heart, you close your eyes, and you breathe in and out through your heart. And you connect from your heart and what that does it, it it supports with creating coherence between your brain and your heart and when your mind and your your brain and your heart are coherent and this is scientifically proven by the way you're not going to be stressed you're going to be in a, a balanced uh, grounded space okay you also want to get grounded with your vision. What is your vision? What was your 2020 vision? What, what did you want to create? And are you on track with your vision? Okay. So that's, those are some things that would support you in navigating stress. Okay. So with that being said, here's your, your call to action team. Here's your mission for this week. Your mission, your warriors. Here's your mission. So the first thing I want you to do is uh, share one thing that supports you in navigating stress. What does that look like for you? Share in the comments below. What is one thing? Let, let's crowds, crowdsource some ideas and support each other and be generous with different ideas. I shared with you a bunch of them. Would love to hear if you ha- if you use something specific that supports you in navigating stress. So comments below, share what that is for you. And also, um, here's what I would love for you to have. And here's my invitation to you. So here's what I'd love for you to have is if you're looking to manage your stress, set boundaries, increase your confidence, achieve those goals that you want to achieve, develop your leadership uh, skills, and also ultimately be free and fulfilled. If any of these speak to you, I have a very special invitation for you. I'm so excited. Okay. So the invitation is there's a uh, three-day training that's happening this Friday, Friday the 13th, Friday, November 13th. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, it starts this weekend. And I have a very special gift for the first three people, first three people that comment below with hashtag ignite, hashtag ignite. If you're one of, if you're one of the first three people that comment with hashtag ignite, I will reach out to you within the next 24 hours and support you with how you can get into this training. And like I said, I have a very special gift because I know the the owners of the center were good friends and I have a very special gift for you, okay? So if that's you and you're one of the first three people, comment with hashtag Ignite and I will uh, connect with you. The other thing is if I tagged you to this video, guys, that means I care so much about you and we've, we've either talked about this or we get to talk about this, okay? So if you found yourself being tagged to this video, uh, it's because I do care care and I want to see the best version of you and want you to flourish and exceed and expand into the highest evolution of what you want in your life because I really really care okay so team thank you so much for tuning in to warrior Wednesday again this is pre-recorded because I couldn't get it on to work uh, virtually or work uh, live for some reason uh, and I'm just shifting as things are going uh, so this is my fourth time recording it actually so yay fourth time is a charm okay so all right so I'm looking forward to connecting with you uh, again warrior Wednesday same time same station one o'clock Pacific four o'clock Eastern again if you're one of the first three people commenting with hashtag ignite I will connect with you because I have a, uh, this very special gift you get to experience this training you get to uh, create the results that you want to create and experience freedom all right team thanks for tuning in bye for now